Okay, let's model some population growth using exponential functions. So a fox population in a certain region has an annual growth rate of 7% per year. It's estimated that the population in the year 2000 was 8200. Okay, we want to find some function that models the population t, t years after 2000. So in this case, we are treating t equals 0 as the year 2000. If you used 1 in for t, that would mean the year 2001, and so on. So I'm going to use the compound interest formula, a of t equals p times the quantity 1 plus r over n raised to the nt. Just because we typically see this fairly early on in mathematics that we can use it for a lot of different situations. Um, another thing that I'm, what's pointing me to this direction is I did not see the keyword continuous or continuously. That would point me towards that other formula that has a equals p times e raised to the r times t power. p is the principal when we're thinking about banking, but it's the starting amount in examples like this. So our starting amount in the year 2000 was 8200. So I'm going to say p is going to be 8200. And I'm sort of listing out my variables off to the left-hand side as we're creating this model. Then we'll fill them in in a second. Our rate was given to us as 7%. So I know it's tempting to use 7% here, but we need to rewrite that as a decimal. So we're going to move two decimal places to the left. So 0 0.07 is equivalent to 7%, but we're going to use that decimal for our formula. All right, the number of compoundings in a single year. Well, we were told this was 7% per year, and it is an annual growth rate, and we never saw continuously in any of the wording there, so that's going to tell us n is simply 1. Now, we don't know a of t, and we don't know t. So, as we put these all together, our formula is going to be a of t equals 8200, goes in for p, 1 plus 0 0.07, over 1 raised to the 1 times t power. Now we're not plugging in 0 for t because we're trying to create a model that will, will, we can answer whatever year we're asked about how many foxes we're going to have in the population. All right, so a little bit of simplifying down, getting a little bit nicer answer. We're going to have 8200 and then 1 times t up in the exponent is just t. Now on the inside there, 0 0.07 divided by 1 is just 0 0.07, and 1 plus 0 0.07 is 1.07. So that's the cleanest function we can come up with to model this population growth. Finally, what we want to do is um, use this function, estimate the Fox population in the year 2009. So 2009 minus the year 2000 is going to be 9, and that's going to be a value for our time t. So we're going to evaluate this function a of 9 equals 8200 times 1.07 raised to the ninth power. And get the calculator out, get it to help us out. I got this to be about 15,075. And then I got 0.36554 coming out of my calculator. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to round that down um, not wanting to think about 0.36 of a fox, I'm going to round that to the nearest integer value. 15,075 um, would be the population in the year 2009. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working through modeling exponential functions from word problems.